Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to Pages with Pulsewait. I'm Heather or Miss Pulsewait if you're one of my students and I am so excited that you're here today. We are gonna talk about two reading challenges that I am doing this year and I'm very excited about them. I'm gonna talk about the one that I didn't come up with <laughs> um, first, and that is the 24 banned books in 2024. And the hashtag is hashtag 24BB, a challenge to read 24 books that are banned during this year. And I don't find that a very hard thing to do because I read a lot of diverse books and, um, for some reason, there's a heck of a lot of books going on the uh, banned book list. And I read a lot of young adult and middle grade, obviously. And those seem to be targeted a lot. So I'm pretty sure I've got this one in the bag, um, but would love to have you join us. This tag was created by MJ over at Reading This Life. She kind of was inspired to take the challenge to read banned books, getting just frustrated with all the books that are being targeted right now. If you want to join her, join us, join me, hashtag 24BB. I even have a really cool page in my reading journal all dedicated to it, and I think it'll be fun to fill in. The second one that I am doing, the second reading challenge, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I have looked everywhere to make sure that I'm not stealing this idea from anybody because um, it came to me, you know, inspiration one day. And if this is out there somewhere, I would love to know so I can, you know, tag the originator. But as far as I know, I haven't seen it anywhere. So I'm naming it and I'm going to do it and I'm going to invite everybody I know to join. And that is the A to Z M G name game challenge. It's a mouthful. I know. So basically it's focusing in on middle grade books and the fact that so many of them, so many of them have a name in the title. Like it's always Percy Jackson and the lightning thief or Michael Vay, but that's not it. All kinds of middle grades have a name in them. So I don't know if you've ever tried to do the A to Z challenge where you have to find a title that starts with the letter and I never ever ever complete that. And I read a lot, a lot. I read a hundred books last year and I still couldn't complete the A to Z challenge because it's so hard to come up with those. This fixes that problem because we are looking for the names, not the t like start of the title, but a name in the title. And names start with all kinds of letters. And I figure you can use the first name, you can use the last name, and you can mix and match. So if you're reading a series like Michael Vay, well, then you've got an M and you have a V if you read two of the books. So I have just picked up a whole bunch that I'm going to show you just how easy this is. And I've already read my first one of the year that I'm counting. And so I'll just tell you about that one really quickly. And that was Simon Sorta Says. Simon, I got my first S. Now that name does start the title, but it doesn't matter where the name comes in. It can be anywhere. So I have been looking forward to this one for ages and I finally got my copy um, from the library, The Fire, The Water, and Maudie McGinn. Obviously an M, uh, either way you do it. Then, a, I mean, there's a classic Love Star Girl. How about Pilar Ramirez uh, and The Escape from Zaffa? So I've got a P and an R there. A mall unbound. So many A's. A's should be super easy. Here we go. Arusha. There's a whole series here with this one. Here's Steph Soto, Taco Queen. Oh, my favorite series from last year. Mercy Suarez changes gear. S. Ah, told you. Here we go. How about Zachary Ying and the Dragon Emperor? Um. Hello, there's a Z and a Y right there. So super excited about that one. Sal and Gabby, Break the Universe, Onyeka, and the Academy of the Sun. How about a scary one, Frozen Charlotte? So there's Charlotte there. 
Oh, well, this is another one of my favorites from last year. The Extremely Inconvenient Adventures of Bronte Metalstone. And this one was nominated for the Grand Canyon Reader Awards. This is Pippa Park Raises Her Game. So, I mean, that was just me in like two minutes looking on my shelves and things that I have, finding books already picked up. I'm so excited about this challenge that I actually am doing a board at my classroom for my students. I introduced it to them today and I'm asking and inviting them to join me for this last quarter. So they're gonna read books all this quarter. And if they have a name in it, then we're gonna print off the cover and pop it onto our bulletin board with their name beside it. So I will kind of keep you updated and show you how that progresses as well. I'm super excited about this idea. So this is, once again, hashtag <laughs> A to Z, MG for middle grade, MG, name game challenge. So I think it'll be a lot of fun, a heck of a lot easier if you're a middle grade reader than that A to Z challenge. I could never get that one. And I would love it if you wanna join me. I would love it if you wanna share what you think about this or if you have some suggestions because, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so excited. So as my kids start reading, I'm gonna go ahead and share their suggestions as well so you can kind of see what some middle grade sixth graders are, are doing for this challenge as well. So as we talk about the challenge, a couple of things, couple of like parameters. And honestly, I'm a firm believer in your challenge, your rules, but a couple of things to keep in mind. I'm personally playing one book equals one letter. So even though the name has two letters, it only fits for one. Second, rule, I guess, would be that it does need to be um, middle grade or YA. Adult books don't count on this one. Sorry. If you want to modify it, you can. I mean, that's your challenge. Number three, um, I think nicknames would work. So if the title has a nickname, so for example, um, a student was asking me about the Divergent series and how one of the books at the end is called Four, which is the name of the person, which I think counts. And even though it wasn't their original name, it is kind of their nickname. Stargirl is also one that's um, like a nickname. My students wanted to know about Dogman. I'm letting them count that because <laughs> the name of the character is Dogman. But then we had a whole discussion about Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And I'm like, no, the child's name is not Wimpy. Their child's name is not Kid. But you could read the Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. Roderick is a total name. That works. But Diary of a Wimpy Kid does not. So just kind of giving them parameters. I'm figuring most people will figure that one out. But in case you wanted some clarification there, the name just has to appear in the title is my thought. And I don't think they have to be human either because we are reading middle grade. Um, so the one and only Ivan, Ivan's a gorilla. Dogman is obviously a dog. The one and only Bob, dog. Ruby's an elephant. So I feel like there's places to wiggle there. Let me know if you think I'm being too strict or if you, you know, it's your rule. It's not like I'm gonna pop into your living room and say, mm, you broke that one. Nope, that doesn't count. Uh -uh. It's your challenge. Challenge yourself however you feel like that would work for you. So I hope that clarifies any questions that might pop up. I really hope you'll join me on these two reading challenges. I think it'll be a ton of fun. All right, we'll keep reading. See ya on the flip side.